everyone, Pedro here with Cinemild with our new Cinemild Universal battery plate. And uh, I want to get right into it and talk about some of the many different ways you can use this battery plate on your uh, gimbal kit. And so, you know, it has a number of 3 8 and quarter 20 holes uh, all over the, the plate, uh, many of them in the one inch on center standard hole spacing. Uh, the other thing you'll find on the plate is a few different uh, patterns to mount battery plates, uh, battery mounts. And so we do offer, uh, of course, you can use uh, authentic uh, V mount and IDX or uh, uh, Anton Bauer gold mount plates. We do offer our uh, basic or standard uh, V mount or gold mount. And we also offer a premium on the standard. All you get is one D tap. And on the premium, you get a USB 5 volt, a 7.2 uh, volt barrel connector, and a 12 volt barrel connector, and of course the P-tap. So many, many more power options. So um, yes, um, so it allows you to mount the battery plate, as you see here, on securely onto with the included screws onto our universal battery plate. So you know how can you use this? You can. Um, use this in a lot of different ways. One of the things you might notice here on the plate is we have these mounting ears on each of the corners of the plate. And this allows you to interface with the included bracketry that is included with the universal battery plate with our pan weight mounts on different uh, gimbals that we make the pan weight mounts for. We make it for the Rhone 2, we make it for the Movi, we also make it for the Tilt of Gravity. And so, um, this becomes very uh, useful as I'll go into here in a little bit. But the other thing you can do with the battery plate is we sell these uh, gold mount studs and the studs allow you to transform this into the male side of the gold mount system and interface with anything that has a gold mount uh, battery plate on it, such as this monitor. And so what you could do is uh, if you're trying to make a, uh, a director's monitor setup, you can take your uh, HD video transmitter, securely attach it to the plate in many different ways, and then simply click into the gold mount system. And of course that could be any number of different things. Uh, and so this is just like an interface plate it gives you a male side so that you can mount different things to the one side of the plate and then securely click it into the Anton Bauer mount and allow you to securely mount different things together as one thing such as like a director's monitor setup and things of that nature. Um, the other big reason why um, I'm offering the gold mount studs is the Ronin 2 as we see here has this power block that you can mount two Ronin 2 batteries to, right? And this is how you power the Ronin, uh, the R2. And uh, it's normally directly attached to the, the gimbal. You can hit the eject button, this releases itself. It comes with a remote mount cable, so you can mount the power block anywhere you want, but it also has two PTAP power outs on it. And so, you know, the Ronin 2 batteries are really good. They're really inexpensive and they have great performance. And at this point, I've bought quite a number of them. And so I would love to multi-purpose the use of the battery. So in other words, I'd love to use the Ronin 2 batteries to power my camera and accessories when I'm on a tripod. And so what you can do is you buy the optional uh, gold mount studs, you screw them into the universal battery plate the Ronin 2 battery uh, power block has two quarter 20 uh, mounting points on the bottom. So you then mount the battery plate to the bottom of the uh, Ronin 2 power block. And essentially then it allows you to click into a gold mount. So for example, if your camera is on the tripod and you have a uh, Anton Bauer gold mount on the back of the camera, you can now s slide into that and then via the P-taps, uh, you can power the camera, you can power accessories. This essentially lets you use your Ronin 2 batteries to power your camera when it's not on the gimbal. So it gives you uh, more bang for your buck out of your Ronin 2 battery investment. And I think that alone makes the plate worth it. Um, I know now I'm using the Ronin 2 batteries for 
all the time for all of my uh, all of my uh, setups, and so that's a great use. But the power the Ronin two power block mounted to the the gold mount with the gold mount studs actually serves another one more a very important purpose. So uh, Ronin two Steadicam combination. So I have a separate tutorial video that I'm going to get into uh, with much more detail about that setup. But one of the things you need in order to execute that setup is you really want to get the weight of the Ronin 2 batteries off of the top of your sled and onto the bottom of your Steadicam. So by using the battery plate with the gold mount studs on it and then attaching it to the Ronin 2 battery plate, uh, Ronin 2 power block, you can grab your Steadicam and your Steadicam will have a, uh, oh, the most popular is the gold mount on the bottom stage. And then you can simply slide it in and click into and securely mount the Ronin 2 power block on the bottom of your Steadicam. So that solves the very uh, tricky problem of what to do with um, the Ronin 2 power block and how to feed the Ronin power from the power block while on your Steadicam and moving that weight from up top to down bottom on your Steadicam. So for Steadicam Ronin 2 users, the universal battery plate with the optional gold mount studs is really the key to making that setup work much better. So that's that. Um, and as you can see, I got a, a Movi Pro and a Ronin 2 here behind me. And um, the reason is, as I was pointing out earlier, you, we have these mounting ears, right? And so uh, about a year or so ago, we started selling the Movi Pro pan counterweight mount. Now we also make one for the Tilta and now for the Ronin 2. But here on the Movi Pro, uh, you'll notice you can then mount the battery plate horizontally or vertically. And so this just gives you options and how you want to configure it. Um, you know, for those of you who don't know, um, why would you want to mount counterweights to your pan axis? If you, you know, many times you're using the tilt offsets plus our, our pro dovetail uh, counterweight system with a bunch of counterweights on a really heavy build. And so you, uh, what happens is then to get the pan balanced, you got to slide it all the way out and you may have maxed it out. And so if you max it out, the only way to balance your pan axis, which is the most important, uh, access to balance on your gimbal, in my opinion, um, is by using the many counterweights that we sell. Now, counterweight is kind of dead weight. It really has no use, whether uh, as, as opposed to it just there to counterweight things. So the best thing to do is to counterweight actually by using a battery. Now, I have a Dionic HC here, which is not the biggest, not the smallest, but they definitely have many gold mount batteries out there that are very slim and also a lot smaller physically. So there might be good choices, but you can put that on the pan, on the pan axis here using our battery plate and serve two purposes. You can put weight on the pan axis and then using the power outs on the battery plate, you can power the camera, you can power accessories. Uh, the other thing, you know, you can do is you can take your video transmitter and put that on one side of the battery plate and then put the battery plate on the other side with the battery. Um, you can not use either of those, uh, either the transmitter or the battery plate and just use our universal battery uh, mount here uh, plate just as a surface for you to mount an MDR, uh, f some sort of focus uh, receiver, uh, audio uh, transmitters, all sorts of video converters if you're shooting on film. And so many times, as you know, we just need a surface to mount things on um, to sort of finish our build. Uh, you know, so we end up bongo tying and stuff like that. This gives you a nice flat surface with many different uh, threaded holes in order for you to make secure mounting uh, points. Now, the interesting thing about the Movi Pro is it's got these two down tubes on the pan bar. And so, our Movi mount actually attaches to those two pan tubes and you can slide it up and down on those pan tubes and that gives you many different mounting options. You can mount it at the bottom, you know, um, you can slide it up the arm so that it's actually angled at a 45 degree and there's enough room on both sides so that you can put, you know, like I mentioned, the battery and a transmitter and you can actually slide it all the way up, turn it around 
and mount it so that it's horizontal. So you have lots of different mounting options for the battery plate and the accessories that you're going to put on the battery plate. Now, you know, turn the attention here now to the Ronin 2. We have here mounted to the pan arm, we have our pan weight, counterweight mount and accessory mount. And um, of course, you can just take a weight, thread it in here and give you the weight you need to get your pan arm balanced. Um, but on the Ronin 2 specifically, it has such strong motors that as you see here, we actually have an Alexa XT uh, balanced here on the uh, on our Ronin 2 with a matte box and a PL lens and kind of a heavy setup. And so you, you're going to quickly, you're going to max out your pan adjustment. So once again, just like I was talking, explaining on the Ronin or on the Movi, uh, the first reason is you need, the only way to get this balance now is to add weight. So if we're going to add weight, we might as well add a battery, right? So same thing, you can take our battery plate and you have a couple options. You can mount it horizontally. You can mount it vertically on the side, uh, which is cool. And once again, you have enough room on both sides of the plate. So you can put some things on one side of the plate, other things on the other. If you still need more weight, there's room for another counterweight on the other side. And, um, you know, uh, just to get into it a little bit more, you know, uh, as far as the, the purpose of having a battery plate on the pan arm, there's actually two situations, right? One of the situations is, for example, the Alexa LF, the large format, the new Alexa, um, it actually is not a, a 14 uh, volt camera. The Ronin 2 only supplies 14.4 volts of power. And so the only way to power that camera on the Ronin 2 is via an external battery plate. So instead of cherry rigging something on the handlebars or whatever, um, you can now mount the battery, the special battery plate onto our mount plate and then run a cable to the camera and supply it with the 24 plus volts that it needs to run. And so that's really the only way to power the Alexa LF. Uh, we now have this solution that gives you that possibility so you can do things like that. Um, and the other reason I should bring up uh, with the pan weight mount here is um, the shorter you actually make, the, the more weight you add on the pan axis, the shorter you can make the pan length, the pan arm length. And, you know, if you have a really long length and a bunch of counterweight, it can start to create some vibrations on vehicle mounts. Um, and so, and the yeah, other reason, you know, you shorten the pan arm, you can have it closer to your body, but uh, really shortening it, even on a lighter build, can be extremely helpful to potentially, you know, curb any sort of vibrations that may be induced by an extremely long pan arm with a lot of weight on the end of it. So I know I'm always using uh, the pan weights. Um, I find it really helps. It also now with our battery plate, uh, universal battery plate that I can attach to it, gives me a nice flat surface to attach any number of different things, such as, you know, this little transmitter for the alpha wheels. You know, normally I just sort of bongo tie it or tape it or velcro it on now i have a nice flat surface we're going to make a little bracket so that, that you can screw into this so you can securely mount your accessories you know and as you know people are always asking us to mount any number of different things on our gimbals and so it's always nice to have a nice flat surface with threaded holes that you can securely mount uh, things professionally so Anyways, guys, that's kind of the overview on our new Cinemild Universal battery plate. Uh, once again, lots of different uses. Uh, you can use it so that you can use your Ronin 2 batteries uh, when you're doing tripod work and studio mode. Uh, you can use it to do the Ronin 2 Steadicam uh, combination so you can mount the, the Ronin 2 power block on the bottom of your Steadicam. You can put the battery plate on there and mount it to either your Ronin 2 or your Movi Pro on the pan arm and provide external an external power source to the camera and your accessories. You know, uh, a lot of times with film, 35 millimeter film cameras, this is something that you need to do. Um, you need both an external power source and um, also more weight on the pan axis because of the size of the build. So uh, another really sort of simple accessory that we hope will solve a lot of problems for you guys. 
We're uh, constantly evolving, and so we may add a few holes to that plate to make it fit different things uh, over time, uh, but also we're always taking your input, so feel free to comment below in the video and ask me questions. Sometimes I can't get to things right away, but I always do my best to reply and answer all your questions. Uh, make sure to follow us on Instagram, especially. We're very active on there. We're always posting the latest products and services. And um, of course, on Facebook. Um, so thanks a lot for the support. And I hope you like this new piece. And uh, it solves problems for you guys. So all right, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, I'll see you on set.